All right, so welcome to your classroom. Um, we are going to do our demo that we did in class for those of you who weren't there or who want to watch it again. This is our Newton's second law demo, and we are using just normal string, a straw, which is on the string. The string is taped up to the walls tight and as level as I could get it. A balloon, lots of packing tape, and some coins. So first we're gonna take the unweighted balloon. So I just blew this up. There's no coins on it at all. And we are going to tape it to the straw with the opening to the back. So it will propel that down the string. So I'll tape it there. And then when I release, just watch how far it goes and how fast it travels down the string. All right, so you can see the balloon that did not have weight made it almost to the opposite end of the classroom. So, shoot that back down there. And then, size this one didn't explode and we're just gonna tape the coins to the balloon like that and we'll put the coins on the bottom again the opening will go towards the wall we'll tape this to the straw I tried to blow this up about the same size as the other one mostly I was just happy this one didn't pop in my face <laughs> and so compare this to about how far the other one the unweighted one traveled. Ready? <laughs> there you go. So what did you notice? What was different between the balloon that was light and the balloon that had the coins attached to it? Which one traveled farther? And how does that apply to Newton's second law?